Following your escape plan, Brian climbed into the ventilation ducts, but then he came across Kurgan's decapitated body. He found the head and tried to hide it by sticking it into a furnace, which turned on when he closed the door. The head was reduced to ashes and... And then he came home to Daddy. Even after dying, that psycho's managed to screw everything up for me. Now how do I escape? The cards are in your favor. Improvise. Come on already, Gabo. Can you stop it with that line, please? Improvise? You and Kurgan are almost the same height, and you have the same build. What would happen if they found his beheaded body dressed in your clothes tomorrow? <laughs> what? I can't do that. Kurgan's back is hairy as an ape. They'll recognize him in a second. Do some hair removal. What about his freaky long fingernail? They'll know it's Kurgan as soon as they see it. Trim it. And I have a tattoo on... on my ass. And he doesn't. Draw one on him. What about his blood type, his shoe size, his DNA? Go to Bennett's office and switch the medical files. Try to think on your toes, Brian. You know, in the end, it'll turn out you're right. Kurgan's body could pass for mine. If I switch his medical records with mine, cut off his disgusting fingernail, copy the tattoo I have, well, near the small of my back, wax his shoulders, and set things up in such a way that they decide not to look for his head or suspect foul play when they can't find it, that way they'll think the dead body's mine and... Nobody looks for a dead man. But make it snappy, Basco. Remember, either you're escaping at 12 midnight or you're not escaping at all. What came after entering the casino? Go into the air ducts through the vent. About that tattoo of mine that I have to draw on Kurgan. Since you're so good at that artsy-fartsy stuff, why don't you paint it? Forget it. I don't see myself looking at you on all fours and me painting Kurgan's behind. Well, that's kind of the idea. No way. A billion dollars. They say I killed a guy once who rambled on and on about something for too long. You think it's true? All right already. I'll stop insisting. Do you have anything that might pass for a tattoo? No. But I'll listen to any and all ideas. Add a thou to the two grand I already owe you. Done. In the third drawer of my cabinet, there are some artist pens. Grab a 0 0.005 and it should pass. Too bad I don't have a 0 0.037. I love deals with friends. Banana! You know, I'm not going to bug you anymore about this tattoo business. My unstable mental health will thank you for that. Why do I have to wait to escape right at midnight? Because it is right then that the guards by the entrance change shifts. You'll have a little more than 37 seconds to slide down the cable with no fear of being seen. I'm going to keep planning my escape, Gabo. Good for you. Well, like Gabo says, I'll have to improvise. Some people use it to photocopy their butt. Wait, my tattoo! Hey, you peeping Tom. I'm about to drop my trousers here. It would be such a nice touch if we could just imagine... Um, a curtain, let's say. Great. Now I feel a bit more comfortable with this. Let's see how it works. Presto! Looks nicer than I thought. Okay, when I count to three, we can stop imagining the curtain. One. Two, three. Marcelo's teachings do come in handy once in a while. Let's try to locate where we're at. For now, I've figured out where the casino is, as well as the central fan in Kurgan's final resting place. And yes, I believe I can find my way to Bennett's office. Ready. Yes, let's get to it.
Huh? Oh, what's this? Oh, this goes on forever. Stinks in here. This seems like a morgue. Well, this sanatorium has been around for more than a century, so I wouldn't be surprised if this room had originally been used as a morgue. An emergency room? Or who knows what else? Okay. Spick and Sam. Medical instruments. More like torture instruments, if you ask me. Well, it looks like this doohickey here is slightly less disgusting than the others. I'd like to imagine it's a little vacuum, but I don't want to think about what it's vacuumed. That was so rusty it just fell apart. Great. Now how am I supposed to get out of here? Wow, what a strange shape. I don't even want to imagine what it's for. It looks so new compared to the rest of the room. Maybe they brought it here to clean things up, but changed their mind in the end. It's not even dusty. Go figure. There's an iron bar inside. I've reached the conclusion that the iron bar that was inside the hole was stuck to the side so hard that it could not be removed by grabbing it with my bare hands. However, with the forceps, things might work just a little better. Amazing! It's as if I knew the solutions before I even know anything about the problems. The bar's a bit rusty, but I'll do it. It must have been here for so long that it got stuck to the floor. Unsticking it is not going to be so simple. Okay. Hey, it's already been unstuck. If I did that handiwork, I would have... A trampoline. That's it. Now let's get out of here. One, two, three. Darn swimming pool. It almost ruined my entire plan. Go directly to office. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Runny, it's Bennett. How's everything going? Me, I'm the same. My work isn't nearly as secretive as yours. 
I was just calling to say thank you. I got the package with the things I asked you for. Yes, it's all there. The photos, the keys, and the instructions to get to Chapman's cabin. Chapman? Why does that name ring a bell? Yes, I'll try to go this week. I owe you one, Ronnie. Uh, seeing how I plan on escaping, wouldn't that be a little counterproductive? Bennett, that paragon of mental health, can't even work without his coffee. And after all, it is a drug. And why not? Looks like a Martian invention. Hey, that might just work. Okay, but I'm walking on eggshells here. Because if he sees the tube, I'm doomed. That's strange. I really gotta stop drinking this stuff. Now! Switching his medical chart with mine. Done. Yeah, this knife blade is big enough to cut through a fingernail like that. Cutting his nail. Done. I have the artist's pen, the photocopy for reference. In other words, I'm set. Copying my tattoo on his butt. Done. Okay. Uh, uh. Opening this with my bare hands is impossible. Yeah. That might just work. Yes! Those motors are really gonna do the trick for me! I'm thinking that underneath the hatch, there's a set of motors which would disintegrate ahead if one just happened to fall onto them. Right before escaping, I'll open it with the iron bar and place Kurgan's body in it so that it looks like his head fell down the hole and was pulverized by the machines. That way, nobody gets suspicious about the missing head. And so... Getting his head to disappear without arousing suspicion. Done. Since they lead to the same room, I'd rather go through the other one. Good. Done. Swift plan, man. If I put it in for just one itsy-bitsy instant and then I open the door right away, the candles will melt but without burning the wax up entirely. But 
wait. The not-so-nice part is that I'll get a nasty burn when I take it out. No, wait. I have a funnel. Switching his medical chart with mine. Done. Cutting his nail. Done. Copying my tattoo on his butt. Done. Performing hair removal on his shoulders. Done. Getting his head to disappear without arousing suspicion. Done. Kurgan has now been fully Brianized. As soon as you're done with this, finally, anyone who sees him will be 100% sure that Jacob Kurgan's corpse is actually Brian Basco's. I still have to switch my clothes with his, but I'd better wait until I'm ready to escape. Now I just have to figure out how to slide down that cable on the roof. Okay, but after seeing what happened to Kurgan, I think I'll take ladder number one. Law. Gabo's stick thin, so I bet he could slip between the bars. But me? No. Not even in an imaginary box. Not much to see. Nah. It looks like a very secure lock. I couldn't force it. It has some horrible iron shackles on it. Not a chance. Who knows how many people lost their minds while tied down there. <laughs> I'll never do that. Majorly spooky. I'd rather not think about the types of therapies they use them for. In fact, it looks like they weren't even taken off of the last person who had them on. Well... Done. Excellent. If there's a way to bend those bars, that would be it. That's the cable Gabba was talking about, right? Looks like the other side of the cable is right by that huge sign welcoming people to Happydale. Ideal for my escape. When it's time to escape, I just put the forceps around the cable, hold on tight, jump, and slide down. Well, I think I've done everything I needed to do. That psycho Kurgan is so Brianized, they'll think his body is mine. And besides that, I know how to slide down the cable on the roof now. I'm gonna go back to my room to wait for the right time to escape. When the sun goes down, I'm free as a bird. Nothing's gonna stop me from escaping. Stop right there! Hold him down, Ernie. Your pleasant little stroll is over, Basco. Hey! Miss Palmer! Bosco's all worked up. He needs the anesthesia. Uh, 
Get him back to bed. He clearly needs more medication. Fed me some nasty meds. What did she give me? Ernie! Was this the pill? Sure is, Basco. That was the one. What are you doing in here, Ernie? House rules, Basco. If the nurse on call has to leave, it's my job to come on in. I'm surprised you haven't figured this stuff out yet. Now we will begin our what are you writing? rebuttals against dumb stuff people say about Elvis. Like what? One says Elvis was killed by an FBI gnome. That can't be true, because to get into the FBI, you have to be at least five foot three. Wouldn't you like to take a peek inside Miss Palmer's purse? Take a peek? In her purse? No. Can you guess where, though? <laughs> Keep writing, Ernie. Will do, Basco. I have to find out what the effects of neuroshockine are. I can't risk losing it when I'm escaping from this place. Okay, but just for 30 seconds. Tops. Now we will begin our... <laughs> Hi, there. Hi there, I'm Mickey. I'm Mickey. Who, are, Who you? are you? Brian. Brian Basco. Nice to meet you, Brian. So, what's up? You look nervous. Of course I do. In five minutes is the last episode of Barbara's Crest. And as soon as it's over, I have to rush my butt over to the university to take my pharmacology three exam. It's like the most important day of my life on two totally different fronts. You'd be jittery too, Brian. Ready for your big exam? <laughs> I've memorized it all. Ask me whatever you want. So, what the heck do I ask you? You gotta ask me about some drug, and I'll tell you everything I know about it. Neuroshockine XR. Neuroshockine XR, chemical composition, hypopendulic acid, dosage administered orally, used only to resuscitate the sick who are clinically, clinically, uh, clinically, uh, dead. Dead. In any other type of patient, it causes acute neural excitation, which results in attacks of extreme violence in the patient, which... Uh... What? Miss Palmer gave me pills to make me ultra-violent? Yes, of course. That knife under my pillow was her doing. That's how she knew about my candy. And then she wouldn't give up until I took those pills. Is she trying to get me to kill someone? What for? Does she hate me that much? The important thing now is to find some sort of antidote. Which can only be neutralized by taking... Uh, by taking... By taking... A direct electrical shock. Uh, a direct electrical shock of high voltage applied to the back of the neck. In other words, either you jolt the guy with electricity, or he starts to go postal and kill everyone in sight. Thanks a lot, Mickey. You just saved my life. Next question. The criminal organization of the Sandretti family, whose fortune amounts... ...to more than apparently religious... Have you rebutted any spectacularly stupid speculation about Elvis lately? Yeah. This one guy claims Elvis was working as a DEA agent in the war on drugs. But that's impossible, because everybody knows Elvis never had nothing to do with drugs. Can you lend me the taser inside of Miss Palmer's purse? Basco, I never took you for a thief. A nutcase and a murderer, yeah, but not a thief. Come on, dude. She's not gonna notice. I'll give it back to you later. Ernie, I don't sell out for nothing. Well, maybe for cash. 
Keep writing, Ernie. Will do, Basco. Man, after what he told me about all of the gold in the world. Ernie, do you think the casino chips Gabo gave me are fake? I doubt it. How much are we talking about here? $125,000. $125,000? I'd like some of them chips myself. Yeah? Well, go figure that they're not at all that appealing to me. I'd even give them up in exchange for, I don't know, a taser gun? Vasco, never, ever, ever will you get me to take that taser out of Miss Palmer's purse. And you know that never means... How cool. Be careful, Gabo. One shock and that's it. Sure. <laughs> 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 Vasco? minutes till the changing of the guard. Get going! Miss Palmer could- Give me your cell phone. Why? If it goes as planned, they'll contact Gina to have her identify Kurgan's headless cadaver. I've got to warn her. She has to tell them the body's mine. Hey, who's there? <gasps> oh my gosh, that bicycle fell is dead! Up there, it's Kurgan! Kurgan, stop right there! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh.